How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I woke up a little under the weather so if my voice sounds a little weird I'm sorry. That is also the reason for no face cam today. Later today I'll be finishing up the Mustang. If you didn't see the live stream yesterday you missed out on some fun and me messing up my car so good old fashioned fun right there. Uh, but don't worry trust the process you'll see today it'll look fire. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at some good old-fashioned racing. I can't wait for the SoCal weather to go away so I can go back out to the streets and be doing what I love doing. Come on, man. Can this rain please go away? Anyways, these racing clips are from Streetcar Scene. If you guys are looking to follow a racing page, this is the page to follow. This isn't sponsored. They just post good quality races. At least, usually they're good quality, I should say. Sometimes they're pixelated, but hey, it's, it's the internet. Shit happens. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. First race. Actually, let's look through. Let's look at our contenders here. Okay, there's some pretty good ones that are catching my eye right here. We've already seen these in other videos. So let's start with this one. It's a full bolt-on GT500 on E85. Oh, oof. That, that, that's a monster right there, not gonna lie. Versus a red-eye upper pulley. E85, okay, all right, Bo both are monsters, okay, and both are heavy, they're, 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 like, we, we could call the Challenger a boat all day long, but the Mustang is damn near just as heavy, they're, they're both fucking boats, so, I'm, I mean, just, you know, I'm just gonna go based on my, my fanboy, I'm gonna say Mustang, um, but I could be wrong, and I don't read descriptions or comments, so... This last race right here was a lot closer, which makes me wonder, how was traction on the other two races? This one seems like they both hooked up pretty good, and I'm not trying to make excuses. Obviously, the Challenger won more races. We, didn't have, we haven't even watched this one yet, but the Challenger was, was pulling away like a goddamn freight train. Like, that thing was chugging full steam ahead, and, I mean, for a boat, I, it was pretty impressive. It was pretty impressive. Now, like I said, the last two races, this one seems a lot closer as well. But even still, the Challenger's really them in like a big old bass. That GT500 ain't going nowhere. So I have a feeling, if I had to guess, that the first two races, the Mustang just didn't hook at all. Not trying to make excuses for the guy. He's still lost. I, 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 ain't, I ain't trying to be like, oh, look, Mustang fanboy. The only reason why he didn't win is because he didn't hook. Look, if you don't hook, you're still losing. Like, that's still, like, you not dialing in your car and making sure you have the traction there. That's why I've been so dedicated to trying to get my Mustang to hook, because I don't want this fucking shit to happen. Um, either that or, or we could look at it the other side of the spectrum. The Challenger got hot after those two first races, and now he's, you know, at a level to where it's more comparable to the actual Mustang. Either way, Challenger won. I didn't expect it. A lot of people in the comments didn't seem to expect it, but um, yeah, good runs, boys. Good runs. Both are very fast cars. All right, next race we have. Okay, you know why not? Why not take a look at this? The little Accord, the Accord M ugh, MHI Stage Two Turbo Port Injection E85 versus a stock GT350. I mean, GT350s are monsters around the track. But they're not monsters in a straight line. They're, they're just not. Like, they, like, they're cool, but I'm pretty sure a full bolt-on A10 E85 Mustang would, would take one. So it's not, it's not that impressive, but, um, I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the fucking Accord's going to win. Just because, I mean, if this was submitted, I'm assuming the Accord submitted it to flex that he beat a GT350. I don't think no GT350 out there is flexing that he beat an Accord. So I could be wrong, though. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, most people are saying Accord. Let's take a look. So, I don't know if there was audio. I, I didn't hear it on my end. Maybe maybe it just didn't pick it up. But, yeah, I mean, the, the Accord won. A big whoop. Um, 
yeah, I mean, what, what I mean, we kind of expected it. I, I, I don't know Accord mods and stuff and what they're capable of, but hey, a quick Accord is, is, is something to, to be proud of, I guess. At the end of the day, it's still an Accord, but hey, beat a GT350. So if I was that GT350 owner, I'd, I'd feel a little embarrassed right now. I mean, this is what most like scat packs and RTs feel like because they lose on the daily, but yeah, losing to an Accord is something else. That is, that is something else. Um, this, uh, okay, here we go. We got, we got some more in depth from the Accord owner right here. Just a disclaimer, my Accord does make 490 to 500 and I know it wasn't a fair race, but the guy just bought the car like a couple months ago. Could have been a driver mod, but he didn't have any issues with the race was clean from a six year old. Okay. Yeah. See, so, I mean, dude, yeah, 500 wheel horsepower or 500 horsepower on an Accord was probably going to beat a GT350. Um, I, 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 I'd, I'd wager money that that's, that's probably going to beat it, but Hey, cool. And I also don't like these comments too, like 10 out of 10 weird mods to be racing a stock car, stock NA car. It's like, hey, dude, they were just testing out to see where they're at, man. It's not that serious. They didn't, they didn't bet for fucking money. Like, come on. <laughs> People race stock Lamborghinis and stock McLarens all the time. Is it any different? I mean, this is a stock GT350, so it's not like a stock 5.0. It would have been worse. All right, you know, let's do this one. We got a little K series. We got a, a Civic SI KW Supercharged E85 Tune versus a 5.0 MT82 whack uh, exhaust and unknown mods. That MT82 is just the, a Mustang owner's worst nightmare. My boy Brian, I mean, his is holding up, but there's going to be a video coming up very soon when he retunes his car where his MT82 is going to grenade. So, Brian, if you're watching this, I, I ain't lying. You know that. So, anyways, uh, Craftwork Supercharger Civic versus MT82 Exalt. Yeah, no, this is the, the Civic's winning all day. Civic's taking it. Civic is yeah. Civic's taking it. Not even. A So I'm guessing that they're starting at like a 40 roll or something or a 50 roll because that Mustang has to shift right away, which I mean, he's getting gapped regardless, but like you're setting yourself up for failure, man. Like, especially with the MT-82, you ain't shifting that thing fast. Like it's an immediate shift. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you setting yourself up for failure? Put yourself in the middle of the power band. What are you doing? Like, you know, if you want to set one up where you're in his power band and then one in your power band, like, that works. Like, that happens all the time when I'm out. But, like, it just seemed like the Mustang just set himself up for failure. And don't sleep on these Civics, man. These these K20s, these K24s, they're, they're, they're ferocious. You, you throw a little boost at them, ferocious. Mine, by the way, by the way, guys, update, mine is done. I just got to toss it back in my car. So, I hope you guys are excited to see... Honda Civic K24 2.0 Nitrous build. Oh my god, it's going to be so fire. I'm going to be doing this on the daily. Can't wait, but yeah. I mean. All right, speaking of K24s and stuff, we got a stock K24 RSX with a 5855 turbo, anywhere between 22 and 23 PSI. I don't know if, if you really needed to list that it might be off by one PSI. It's not a big difference, but whatever. Uh, versus a C6 Z06 with 700 wheel horsepower. These C6 Z06s are just, they're, they're just, they're street racing monsters. It, it's pretty hard to beat one. Like, especially like, I mean, I don't know if this one's NA, but they're, they're monsters. It doesn't say what the Z06 has, but they're monsters. I love both cars. I, I mean, I, I have a feeling that the K24 is going to win just because that is a lot of boost and that thing weighs very little. Oh, God. All right. You know, I'm just going to I'll just I'll just vote Corvette because I like Corvettes. Well, I mean, it seemed very close. The camera angle isn't the best. Um, 
but it did seem close for a while it seemed like the the k24 was pulling top end this guy's also saying how's he making 500 plus wheel on a stock block it's gonna blow any second these k24s handle boost really well like they they do handle boost pretty damn well now yeah i wouldn't say it's a longevity thing i, I definitely don't think that this car's lasting as long as that vet this vet's gonna be able to do that back to back non-stop but hey man he beat the vet what what more can you say these these k24s man these junkyard motors they're they're the way to go sometimes <laughs> Like, for reference, even if he blows this thing up, I got my K24 delivered to my house the next day after I blew up my K20. 900-something bucks. Delivered. That, that's what I'm saying, man. The, the, like, if you hate on Hondas, go build a Honda, and you'll see why people like them. If you build them right, they're fun. And this is proof of it. Moving on. All right, I want to see something gnarly. Okay, I definitely don't really want to see this. A BRZ with an exhaust versus that. I don't want to see uh, two trucks or food carts racing I, oh okay back when i was looking for cars it was it was literally mustang versus camaro this is back when i was looking for my car which one should i have got the s197 5.0 with an intake headers and exhaust on 91 auto if versus the fifth gen ss intake headers 91 auto as well these were the two cars that i was looking at right here factual I think the the Mustang's gonna beat it. I think this is a big weight advantage right here, but I'm I've grown to really want one of these fifth gens. I don't know what it is, but I've grown to really want it. Maybe it's because like Transformers came out when I was growing up and shit, but oh my god, I want one so bad now. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna vote Mustang though, because I'm just pretty sure it's gonna smoke this fucking thing. Oh yeah, it's close. People are people are saying it's close. Let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, someone tell me why in this last clip the Mustang's brakes are on fire. Like, unless this is one hell of an illusion. I saw this this comment right here, and I had to see for myself. It looks like they're on fire. So is this guy really... Like, look at that shit. There's sparks coming out, bro. The, yeah, okay. Something's going on there. I think he's driving with his parking brake up or some shit. And he's still pulling. <laughs> he's still pulling. Look at it. It's glowing, dude. Holy shit. That is so scary oh my god well anyways um yeah i mean the, the the camaro held up pretty well although the mustang did have his brakes on it seemed like well i gotta read this looks like parking brake was on or something so anyway the camaro could keep up with the mustang what an l oh my god i will say the camaro held up really well um i would be interested to see what these two did with like not slush box automatics but you get the cards you're dealt i guess um but i really like these fifth gen camaros guys if you want to see me build one let me know down below fifth gen camaro oh my god i want one so bad comment down below hopefully you guys did enjoy this video guys go check out street car scene i will link them down below go check them out look at some races um i'm gonna go work on the mustang right now hopefully you guys did enjoy this if you did please let me know down below and hit that like button anyways subscribe and until next video peace